okay so in the previous video we have finished our ui so the drone comes animates we, the card also animates one after another from different direction but in this video what we are going to do is add the multi-language support so in our finished project as you can see if we click on russian the language changes to russian and if we click on english the language changes to english so for that there are many available packages or libraries available if you want you can do it in pure javascript but i am going to use a tool called tolgi so let me go to the page so it is tolgi.io the reason why I like Tolgi very much is because of that UI you'll see in a moment. But for now simply you can go to the Tolgi.io and create an account. After you have created an account you can click on get started. You won't have any project here but I already have one because I created one previously. So what you are going to have to do is click on add and here you are going to have to name your project. So let's say my project or my react app like so. And then you have to specify the languages that you want to add in our project. So I want just English and Russian. But if you want, you can add as many languages as you want. So I'm going to say Russian. And click on save. And then you have to click on your project. So after that, you have to add the text that you want the translation for. So let me go to the project and then click on add. First you have to add a key for your text. So the key you can think of it as a variable name. You'll see why. So first first text will be the B drone B drone bot. So copy this, control C and paste it here, control V. And the key to be let's let the key can be let's say page underscore title. So this is our the text is our page title, page underscore title. And then you have to paste the Russian text. For that we can use Google Translate. So we can say Google Translate and paste our text, control V and we want it to be translated to Russian and this is what the Russian text looks like so control C and you can paste it control V save so just like this you are going to add translation for all your text in your page so let me do that real quick okay so I have created a key for all the text with their translations so as you can see here we have all the text that we had in our page so now we are going to click on integrate and we want to integrate it in our react project so we are going to click on react you can also integrate it with Gatsby, JavaScript, Angular whatever you want so we are going to click on react so after that if you don't have any API key you can click on create one and we can choose all of them no worries so save so after that we have to install the tolgi package by running this command so copy this in another terminal session we can paste it so paste it and click on enter and this will start installing the tolgi package so let's wait for the installation to finish okay the installation is now finished so let's open up our sidebar so control b so according to the documentation we have to create this env.development.local file in our project folder so co copy this control c and in the react folder we're going to click on new file and we're going to create that file inside that file we have to have these two lines of code so control c so these are basically the API key for our project so save it and we will be deleting them very soon so don't worry our app will be secured. So after that we have to import the tolgi packages in our project so co copy this line and go to the index.js. Let's say we want to paste our codes here so control V and now what we need to do is wrap our project in with this tolgi provider so let's copy this control C and here is our app so paste it control V oops looks like we didn't copy it so copy it control c and control v paste it fix the indentation like so and let's close it so forward slash tolgi like so and if we now save it nothing should happen yet so if we go to our project as you can see everything is still the same but now wherever we need to use the translations for example in the app page you have the text we have to translate them for that we are going to going to use this T from react tolgi slash react so let's import that so control C and control V T is for our translation so instead of having this text here we are going to use the T so T component so T like so and inside that we are going to use the key of our translation so if we go back to our translation here is the key that we want to use so for the page title the key was page title control C and control V save it so now we have to do this for every our every key so let's do that okay so I have done that for all our text so as you can see I have changed all the text with this T element and then added the tag for our text like so so now let's try to restart our server so let's say control C Y and then again we're gonna say npm start 
hit enter Oops, I accidentally changed the class so let me change the class back again so this should be pricing not price click on save so now everything works just the way it was working before but now we can change the language using tall geese so we can also import use set language from the tall geese so save it the set language is used to set the language of our page so if we were to save it control c and we're going to say const set language so set language equals to use set language this will give us a function using that function we can change the language of our page so let's do that so we can, we're going to copy this control c and let's say this button we're going to add a click event listener so we can say on click on click we're going to run this function so we're going to use an inline function here like so let me close the sidebar and we can use our set language function and we we're going to have to set the language code so if we now go back to our project and go to translation as you can see the language code for English is EN for the Russian it is RU so when the English button is clicked we are going to set the language to EN and let's copy this Control C and paste it here when the Russian button is clicked we are going to set our language to Russian so RU save and if we now go to our project and click on refresh and now if you click on Russian as you can see the page language changes to Russian if you click on English the language changes to English now let's make the button highlight when the la language is selected so we can also get the use get current language so we can say use current language so to get the current language so control C and we're again going to say const get language so const get language get language equals to use current language so now we can call this function to get the current language so for example if I were to say get current language function call it here okay this should be get language sorry let's say get language save it and as you can see it says en so our current language is en if you click on russian it changes to ru so our current language is now russian so we can use this to highlight our button so cut this for now and here we are going to in our button we are going to use style binding so we can say style equals to we are going to say background so background equals to so here we are going to use a ternary operator so we are going to say get language so so if get language equal equal equals to en en in that case we want the background to be yellow so let's copy the yellow color from our css so where is our css let me open the sidebar ctrl b and index.css so this is the orange or yellow color that we want so copy this ctrl c go to our app so if it is English then we want to set the color to be orange or yellow otherwise we want the color to be the gray color we already had so in the index.css let's see so this is the gray color we originally had in our button so let's say hashtag control V like so save it looks like we have some error let's see what is that okay this should be a question mark not colon sorry save it and now if we refresh And click on English the English gets highlighted so we can do the same for our Russian button so let's copy this control C control V save it and this time we're gonna check if the language is Russian save it so now English is highlighted if we click on Russian the Russian gets highlighted and also our text get changed so our language translation is also working okay now what if you realize that you have some translation mistake in your project we have to change it right so to change it what you can do is go to the project slash translation and you can edit them here or what you can do is click on alt and then click on anything here and as you can see this brings up a model through which we can edit our translation on page so this is what i really like about Togi. okay now this is all good but in case of production we don't want our api keys to be visible so we have to do something about it so if you now go to the documentation again and click on integrate and scroll down at the bottom you'll see prepare for production and click on click here and it, this will show you how how you can prepare your project for production so let's do that so first you have to export your project so click on export and then export as zip this will download the zip file so you can click on show in folder and we're going to extract files here so extract here extract files click on ok 
and now we can cut this project so we can cut and go to our project so www slash current slash react lang in the source folder I'm going to create a new folder I'm going to paste it like so so now if we open up our sidebar oops let me open up our sidebar as you can see we have this folder we want to rename this so we want to rename this we can rename this to whatever we want but I'm going to rename it to i18n that is most most reasonable so let's say rename and rename this to i18 save you can name it whatever you want so inside that you'll see we have two json file one is our english translation and one is our russian translation okay so now let's see what else we have to do so instead of all this now we can use this static data object so control c copy this and paste it control v and we are going to import our russian here instead of this so we're going to say russian and this will be ru save okay now we don't need the ui anymore so ui was the one responsible for importing the model through which we could edit text take screenshot etc save it and now we we can also delete this also so delete save click on save and now let's go to our project so as you can see this is still working just the way it was working before another thing i like about tolgi is if i now refresh as you can see our language is still saved so the selected language is still visible so it was not set back to the english so this is another advantage of tolgi but anyways now we have successfully completed our project i hope you really enjoyed it if so don't forget to toss a like and subscribe and i'll see you next time